Oh, now then, my friends, it is my last day in London today, uh, and I'm without Darren John. Uh, I left him back at his apartment. Uh, he walked me to the train, made sure I got on the train, definitely made sure I got on the train, and uh, I think he was a bit tearful, actually, when I left. Anyway, that's not why you're here today, because uh, we're off to a place called Dishoom, which is an Indian restaurant. And believe it or not, I'm going there for a full English breakfast. I was doing a bit of digging online, a bit of research. I said best full English breakfast in London and Dishoom came up and I thought, really? A full English breakfast in an Indian restaurant? Well, it's called the Big Bombay and it's an English breakfast, a full English breakfast with an Indian twist. So I'm really, really looking forward to this because I've done Indian reviews, uh, curry reviews, and I've done full English reviews. However, I've never done a full English breakfast in an Indian restaurant. Uh, we're gonna mark it out of 10. As I say, it is a twist on it. It's an Indian twist on a full English breakfast. So um, yeah, it's a lovely day. Let's have a wander over there. Gonna take you guys with us. If you're new to the channel, by the way, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and uh, also give us a little thumbs up as well. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so uh, we're at the Dishoom at uh, King's Cross in London. There are different ones across the UK. I think there's one in Birmingham and Manchester as well. I'll put the website in the description down below. Uh, they're serving breakfast until 11.45 a.m. As I say, it's the, uh, the, the big Bombay that I'm gonna go with, uh, which is basically, uh, your plate's gonna be laden abundant with uh, a curry, uh, char-stripped smoked streaky bacon uh, from Ramsey of uh, Carluc. If I'm getting any of this wrong, I do apologize. Peppery Shropshire pork sausages. Oh, I, I bet they're nice. Masala beans, uh, grilled field mushrooms, grilled tomato and buttered homemade buns. Oh yeah, 13 pounds 90. Wonder if there's a service charge as well. Anyway, we're gonna go in, we're gonna mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Can't wait for this. English, full English breakfast with an Indian twist. Weird, come on. Right, so I'm going for the big Bombay. There's also a vegan Bombay as well for you vegans out there. Uh, it looks really nice. It is a bit noisy in here, so uh, I've gone and ordered uh, the uh, the big Bombay. I've gone for a Diet Coke as well. Uh, just fancied a Diet Coke this morning rather than a latte. Got a bit off piece there. I know it's not very Indian, but uh, looking forward to this. I cannot wait. Take a closer look at the menu, my friends. Right, it does get very, very busy in here, so I would advise to uh, to book ahead, by the way. Cheers. Yeah. Right, 
right, it's, uh, it's just very loud in here. However, this looks absolutely amazing, unbelievable. The sausages look great. Uh, the akuri here, which is uh, scrambled eggs with spices and tomatoes, the bao buns, uh, the sausages, the bacon, the tomato, the beans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it and then I'll mark it out of 10 outside. But take a closer look first, my friends. Unbelievable. I've got to tell you, so far, this is absolutely amazing. Got a nice spice to it as well. Everything on the plate. I'll tell you a little bit more when I get outside, but boy, oh boy, is this good. Right, I've got to tell you, that was absolutely amazing, unbelievable. I mean, I've, I, I love English breakfast, but with a, with an Indian twist on it, it had the, the spices in it, the sausage was, it had a nice spice to it, not overly spicy. The bacon was really nice. Then bao buns, beautiful, really, really just, oh man, they were so fresh. Uh, the beans, the masala beans, really tasty, a little bit of spice to them. Again, everything on that plate was of the highest quality. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I obviously went for a Diet Coke. I should have gone for like a, some kind of uh, twist uh, on a latte, an Indian twist on a latte, but I fancied a Diet Coke. Anyway, we we're in there for the breakfast. Um, it came to a total of 19 pounds and one pence. Uh, it's also cashless uh, and there is an optional service charge uh, on there as well um, of 12.5% uh, now I normally take a point off uh, for the optional service charge um, however I would have left a tip anyway they're kind of doing themselves out of a of a tip there because I would have left the gentleman a tip I was at the bar uh, because I didn't book and it was incredibly popular in there uh, and I would have left him a bigger tip than that to be honest so they kind of done done themselves out of it it was so good I cannot tell you how good it was 
oh the, the sausages some of the best sausages I've actually had I'd love to know uh, I sent a picture actually to uh, to DJ uh, to Darren John uh, to ask him what he thinks of it uh, on Lux alone so we're gonna give him a call uh, and then I'll mark it out of 10 amazing unbelievably really was oh man out of the ballpark now then DJ what did you reckon to it on Lux alone do you know what? It looks off the charts, I've got to say. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that, actually. But uh, not today, because I don't feel well, because the Man Masters broke me. Right, so there you go. A bit of a bad signal there to uh, Darren John, uh, but um, off the charts by looks. However, what I think I might do uh, is head back there to Dishoom and take Darren John himself, because I'd love to know what he actually thinks of it uh, by taste. Uh, for myself, it was amazing. As I say, I normally did up to point for an automated service charge, but the food was so good and it tasted just unbelievable. Uh, it was like a full English breakfast, obviously with a twist, and it got a bit of spice to it. So for me, I'm gonna give it a 10 plus uh, out of the ballpark. Unbelievable, uh, and I would go back, and I think I will with Darren John. Try it yourself. I'll put the link to their website in the description down below. There's one in Manchester, Birmingham. I think there's a few around London. And some other places as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of something different there and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.